Uh, I join the chairman in welcoming the witness before um, this committee. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, since the insurrection, more than 1,100 individuals have been arrested and charged with crimes associated with the January 6th insurrection. Uh, this includes 404 defendants who have been charged with assaulting more than 140 law enforcement officers. 115 of those defendants have been charged with using a deadly or dangerous weapon or causing a serious physical injury to an officer. So far, 770 defendants have been convicted, including 65 defendants who have been convicted of assaulting law enforcement officers. I've had the opportunity to meet with some of the Capitol Police officers who were severely injured and still struggle to um, with the events of that horrible day, yet uh, they still show great strength and courage and still serve the force in order to continue to protect us. Uh, Mr. Sun, I have a series of easy questions and kindly ask you to answer yes or no. There has been a direct effort here in this committee and by many Republicans to rewrite the violent events that took place here at the Capitol on January 6th. For example, President Trump called the defendants, and I quote, great patriots. Mr. Sun, do you agree with former President Trump that those convicted of January 6th related offenses are, quote, great patriots? Yes or no, sir? Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm here to try and identify It's the just a simple yes or no. Do you, do, you, do you believe that the people that assaulted your officers are great patriots, yes or no? I think the people that assaulted my officers with weapons and violated the law assaulting them and injuring them okay, deserve... The former president also said that the rioters that day, and I quote, had love in their heart and that it was, I quote, a beautiful day. Do you agree, Mr. Sun, with the former president that it was a beautiful day on January 6th and that uh, those people that attacked your officers had love in their heart? It was not a beautiful day, ma'am. And did they, did they have love in their heart while they were attacking your officers, sir? I don't know what they had in their heart. Okay, on January 13th, 2021, Speaker Kevin McCarthy, when he was minority leader, said, and I quote, last week's violent attack on the Capitol was undemocratic, un-American, and criminal. So, Mr. Sund, do you agree with Speaker McCarthy that the attack on the Capitol was undemocratic, yes or no? I agree that those that committed uh, violations of laws deserve to um, be held Do you agree that it was un-American, sir? Um, again, I, I think those that violated the law deserve to be held accountable. Do you agree that it was uh, criminal? Yes. Uh, Speaker McCarthy also said, and I quote, some say riots were caused by Antifa. There's absolutely no evidence of that. Do you agree, Mr. Sun, that the January 6, 2021 riot was not caused by Antifa? Yes or no? I don't have information uh, okay. to answer that In one In fact, way. then, Minority uh, Leader McCarthy also went on to say that former President Trump, quote, bears responsibility for Wednesday's attack on Congress by mob rioters. He should have immediately denounced the mob when he saw what was unfolding. Mr. Sun, do you agree that former President Trump, and I quote, bears responsibility for the attack? Yes or no, sir? Uh, again, ma'am, I'm here to identify the institutional It's a simple failures. question, sir. Do you, do you agree that what the incidents that led the president to push people here? This is, the, I think this is, I just, if you give me a second, I just think this is part question. of the reason why the American public Do you public agree is so that former President Trump should have immediately denounced the mob when he saw what was unfolding at the Capitol, yes or no? I would have liked some assistance with getting the military to the uh, Capitol. That's, that's correct, ma'am. Minority Leader McCarthy continued, and I quote, these facts require immediate action by President Trump, accept his share of responsibility, quell the brewing unrest, and ensure President-elect Biden is able to successfully begin his term. So my question um, to you, Mr. S um, Sun, uh, to this day, has former President Trump accepted his share of responsibility or done anything to, quote, quell the brewing unrest he cultivated? I think there's a lot of people that need to accept some responsibility uh, associated with this. Okay. Finally, Leader McCarthy said, and I quote, and the president 
immediate action also deserves congressional action, which is why I think a fact-finding commission and a censure resolution would be prudent. Unfortunately, Leader McCarthy's courage did not last long. He chose to vote against the bipartisan bill establishing a commission negotiated by the ranking Republican member of the Homeland Security Committee and containing all of his priorities. This is unacceptable, and I yield back, Mr. Chair. Gentlelady yields. I now recognize the gentleman from North Carolina, Ms. Murphy. Mr. Murphy, for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I just.